Let me start this one off with a quick question because I am truly confused. Let's say that you are the president of the United States of America. You have screwed up the country over the past year beyond repair. And instead of working on things that actually matter, like getting the gas prices back down lower than a gallon of milk, or maybe refunding the police so that the inner cities of America don't look like the movie Purge on an average Wednesday night. No, you instead decide to add a division to the woke BI to handle domestic problems. As in January 6th, as in not that bad of a problem, as in most likely it's already been proven that it was incited by the woke BI. Yes, we all know it was you guys. We're not stupid. I know that I'm just a washed up rodeo cowboy, but I'm not that stupid. And I don't think anyone else who's watching this or who's watching all of this crap unfold in America is that stupid either. Well, that's what Let's Go Brandon is doing currently. With all of his 34 minutes that he does of work in an average week, between his chocolate pudding feedings, between when he's eating an ice cream cone like he's practicing to make out with a girl for the first time, and between his once per month conference meeting, where he sounds like a person who just lost half their hearing. See, as of the day, today, there are 240 2004. But you know what? To be fair, let's talk about January 6th because it was such a terrible thing. No, it wasn't. But if you believe that it was such a terrible thing, you probably have the intellectual capacity of this fine specimen who thinks that hurricanes are racist. Should have done that much damage to Louisiana and Mississippi and along the path that it's going to take. And part of the reason why is because there is infrastructural and environmental racism in a lot of minority and low socioeconomic communities. No, the only thing that was bad about January 6th is that Ashley Babbitt got shot. But nope, not to the left. They call it terrorism. Let me just say something to all these sensitive lefties over here, because y'all y'all just need this right now. There is a difference between feeling terrorized and between terrorism. Like for example, when somebody gets your pronouns wrong and you feel terrorized, that's not terrorism. That's you just being a soft person who never got smacked in the back of the head when they did something wrong as a kid. I've talked about the transphobic baby at work before. Um, I went in a room with him today and I had my wig on, which I took off now because it's like nine o'clock at night. Do you like me now because we've had a moment or do you like me now because I have long hair and look more feminine because then you're more transphobic? And then he started to cry, so. That was my answer. What real terrorism is, is people in turbans with rocket launchers ready to take you down and slaughter all your people. Oh man, I said turban, CNN's gonna probably get me for being racist, but change the record. But seriously though, January 6th was so bad. I wanna kinda go over some of the details of it because, you know, with how many articles that are being put out and with how bad all of our officials in this country are making it sound, I put some statistics together. Was there one gun involved? And that you and I and the whole world saw with our own eyes rioters rampaging. Were there hundreds of buildings set on fire? This is a, mostly a protest. That's like five story tall building right there that's completely engulfed. Yes, now Wendy's, Wendy's is on fire, y'all. Was there a bunch of stuff stolen and looted? He went to KB Bala's restaurant. Looters had broken windows and even tried to steal his safe while he was there. Today he watched as his life savings and dreams literally went up in smoke. Was there billions of dollars of damage? So does governor says the state has seen 48 hours of anarchy. The lawlessness, the violence, the chaos. Oh man, I am so sorry. I must be thinking 
of the BLM riots in 2020. I apologize, I must have gotten them confused like you guys have. Where was the Woke BI Domestic Terrorism Division, or whatever the hell they're calling it now, during the BLM riots? How is that not terrorism? In January 6th is somehow terrorism. That's like saying a Nerf gun is a real gun and an AR-15 is just a play gun. But seriously though, where was the Woke BI when all of the actual terrorism, domestic terrorism, that was going on in 2020 with all these riots. Oh, you guys were probably giving Mark Milley a massage while he colluded with China. China. But for the sake of us being Americans and for the sake of us being aware of what is now going on, let's kind of go through this a little bit here. They're probably just gonna walk around and say, hey, do you vote for Trump? All right, this is a dildo right here. I'm just gonna hit you with it because we have to discipline people according to Sleepy Joe. Okay, let's see. Here's a quick quote. The move is spurred by what Olson described as a growing threat of individuals motivated by factors such as racial animus, an extremist anti-government and anti-authority ideologies. Oh, that's cute. How long did it take y'all to write that thing up? Well, in case anyone else is just totally confused by that, let me translate that into English or into American because what they wrote there, they probably got from China. What it really means is the growing threat of people who don't want the jab, the growing threat of people who want to speak up during their kids' school board meeting because they don't want gender fluidity and critical race theory taught in their kids' school. They're talking about the growing threat of people who won't bow to tyranny or the people who won't bow to this racial cry wolf crap that's going on. And lastly, people who own AR-15s. And now we get to their real goal. And it's been the same goal the entire time. They wanna disarm you. The law-abiding American. They wanna disarm America. They wanna take away your AR-15 that you take your son out to go hunting with. Hey son, let's go get some hogs. They're destroying our land. Oh no, sorry, Sleepy Joe, you said we can't do it. They want to get rid of the Second Amendment just like they are trying to get rid of the First. It's not about January 6th. It's not about pro-America people. So Sleepy Joe, instead of treating all of us like you were probably treated, which is stupid, why don't the next time you come up with a dumb plan that you're gonna roll out, why don't, why don't you just name it what it is? The plan on how to get power and money. And I forgot one, I apologize. Communism. But you can keep trying because as long as there's Americans like me and the people watching this show, it's not gonna happen. 